All right, so this is just a quick lesson on LEDs and seven segment displays, all right? You all know what an LED looks like. So basically, it's got uh, the anode and the cathode, right? The positive is the longest lead, which is the anode, and the cathode is the shortest lead, okay? When you hook up an LED, the cathode is gonna be negative and the anode positive, for, fairly quick and easy for that. For this here short little circuit that I've done in here, I've got the positive, in its own channel and all the negatives uh, in the same channel. The way I've set this up here, this is a common cathode. Okay, so because it's a common cathode, the cathode needs to be negative. So I've put a resistor, just a 3 out of 3 ohm resistor, into the negative uh, channel that I have on this breadboard. If, it was, if I had these LEDs reversed, then I would have to put the resistor into the positive. So it would then be a common anode at that point. That makes sense. So right now it's all common uh, cathode. So when you turn them on, the uh, the positives are each each LED is getting its own positive, uh, going to the cathode through the resistor to the negative in order to turn them on. Okay. All right. When you, I'm just gonna take that out so it's not bright later. Um, when you look at the, uh, the seven segment display, the diagram on a seven segment display, which is right here, with with this here particular one, each light there is eight lights on a seven segment display. Each segment has its own light, uh, separate LEDs, and the, uh, the decimal place, the decimal point, uh, labeled as P, has its own, uh, is, is its own LED. So there's eight LEDs. Um, they're all listed as, you know, and they're, they're all listed as cathodes on this one here, because this here particular diagram demonstrates a common anode seven segment display. So the anode on pin three, and pins eight are the exact same. They're the common anodes. You can hook up either one of them to a resistor um, in order to get. So if I went with the positive, a resistor to the positive to this uh, common anode on pin three, whenever I put a ground on any of the other pins, that associated LED will turn on. Okay, very similar to what I, instead where I had three LEDs here turned on with a, a common cathode. Okay. This here particular uh, seven segment display is a common, uh, common cathode. So I've put the common cathode uh, pin to, to ground. Okay, does that make sense? All right, so here, when I, in this here part, what I, could, what I could do, if I hook this up to an Arduino or a, uh, a PEC, I could hook up each, uh, uh, a separate port to each light and I could force each, uh, whatever character I wanted, depending on which, which pin I want to have on for that. But, it, but that's gonna chew up eight I.O. ports on a, uh, through an Arduino or a, a PIC microcontroller. Uh, instead, I'm gonna use a, uh, a shift register. So the shift register that I'm using is the 74HC164, uh, basically a serial in and a parallel, parallel out shift register. So I've got A and B as my data input, Right, pin nine is my um, clock input. All right, so with the uh, the two data uh, inputs, those two uh, inputs are anded together. So if I just tie one of them high in this particular diagram, I've tied pin one uh, to high, so that it's the input's only going to follow what my B input is is going to re uh, be represented by. And the clock inputs is also connected to this Arduino here. On my circuit here, I've, I've set up my clock input to a switch, so I can just clock my input through just by hand, so one bit at a time. And I've tied that low, so I'm supplying a high with my switch through this pin over here. Okay? Pin. The master clear, pin nine is the master clear, sorry, um, pin eight is the clock, pin nine is the master clear. The master clear is the reset for that shift register. I tied that high also with 1K resistor to, to positive, so it's never being reset. If I, want, if I want to reset it, I would take a pin or a switch and pull it low on the pin side of the resistor, of the 1K resistor. Each, each logic IC needs to be powered up. I've got a ground on pin seven, and on pin 14, I've got plus, uh, plus five. 
All the other pins, all these blue wires that are connected to the pins, are all to the Q outputs of the shift register on each latch that's inside the shift register. And that's the parallel out. So the, this, the data is going to go in through the, uh, uh, on this one here I have in through A because I've got B tied high. So whatever data I have coming in on A is going to get clocked through into uh, each register within the shift register. And then it's going to be reflected on the output of the, uh, of the LED. So when I turn this on right now, I've got this plugged into a low. So if I shift this through, I'm shifting lows all the way through and nothing's coming in. If I change this to a high on the A and the input, and I can start shifting stuff in. More than one is going to come on a lot of times because it's not a very good switch and I'm not just getting a clear clock pulse. I'm getting some bounce back on my switch as they come through and finally and they all turn on. So right now I'm still clocking through a high and it's going to stay on. If I put this to a low now, I can clock my low through and I can start shutting them off as they go through. Once again, I can clock my high through. See if I can do it fast enough here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clock my low through and again with my high. See if I can do it one at a time. Oh, even on the bounce up, it took it as a clock pulse. And it's going very, uh, it's very quick. Okay. All right, so once you, uh, once you have figured out which bit is it connected to which light on here, you can uh, determine what the different characters that you're going to display. So as you clock in, a specific binary, 8-bit binary number is going to be reflective of each um, LED character that you would have uh, to turn them on between the zeros and the ones. So wherever the ones are, it's going to be reflective of which light is going to be on for that 8-bit word. So you're going to, with an Arduino, you would shift, shift out a 8-bit word that you would have represented as a decimal number and it would shift out uh, through uh, to the seven segment, through the shift register to the seven segment display.